Hi guys, welcome to my coffee show. My name is Jack. Today we're doing a pour over, we're doing a filter coffee. In the previous video, I mentioned that I just received my Oria dripper. So here it is. We're going to do a quick uh, unboxing. One of the baristas in one of the, my local uh, coffee shops mentioned that a few months ago and I tried to buy it since and it was so tricky to get it. <laughs> so tricky because this was never available. It comes in that nice no-nonsense box telling you how amazing it is. I don't know why I thought it's made out of uh, glass, but in fact it's made out of plastic. So you open it. Okay, this is a great moment. Well, maybe it is for Oria owner because he managed to sell me this. Um, there are some blah blahs here. I, I will read it obviously. Uh, then they tell you how to brew it. Uh, I will read it obviously. And then it's a very nicely looking plastic. It's just a piece of <laughs> it's just a piece of plastic. But look at this, how how big that hole is, and there are those two well four grooves here. I I suspect that it will run amazingly fast. It is light. You can take it with you for for holidays definitely got kind of a golden shine to the edges that's the big size large size how the small size looks like but you know what it feels that quality feels okay i mean is it worth 20 how much i paid 22 pounds for that for that <laughs> i don't know we will see not only you have to pay 22 pounds for this but you can also consider optional uh base because without the base this one <laughs> won't hold to your cup or carafe so you also need that base okay it made our it's made out of some good quality plastic uh, ecological and blah 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 but 13 pounds 13 pounds so you can choose different colors but 13 pounds a piece of plastic guys if it wasn't for you i would never buy it so what i'm getting here it's one of the kind made out of recycling plastic as i mentioned um, how to clean it and okay you click it and then voila okay so you've got this i haven't bought the carafe uh, i'm not a carafe person i will just pour it straight to the cup uh, but you need some filters so you you could get the Kalita filters by why buy some reasonably price priced filters if you can get Oria filters for much much more <laughs> so that's uh, I won't even try to pronounce that name uh, something starting with S and that's the filters made just for this Oria. And now, if I mention this is pricey, if I said this is pricey, those filters, 25 filters, I paid 10 quid. And you also have to pay the shipping, well, it's not much, but you know, 10 quid for 25 filters. I'm, I'm sure you've seen lots of videos about the uh, uh, Oria but lots of them are actually sponsored by Oria. My one, I well, it's sponsored by myself, so I can tell whatever I want. Uh, okay, so you may notice here there are kind of shapes. So I guess you would have to do some sort of origami with this. Or maybe you just push it in. What's interesting here, it also comes with the uh, like a brewing guide. So, and actually, I was planning to use Commandante anyway, uh, and and they they gave us recipes. So I think have a look. We will actually follow this. Should gives us seventeen point five to eighteen point five 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 
extraction and you know what we will measure that the only thing they don't say is how the hell to i think i got it so you kind of bend it here and here and that to me it looks about right i might be i might be wrong so don't if you by the way if you know how to do it with your hands there is a, another tool they sell for another uh, piece of plastic they sell for another 12 quid or so they call it negotiator and that helps you to to do it but kind of the best i can do so far and so now we will rinse it with water and then i will follow that uh, brew method the coffee that we're going to use today is a hard and graft coffee roaster and that's the naturally processed coffee from uh, china uh, tasting notes, uh, brown sugar, uh, peach and uh, orange. Uh, I tried it before when we tested the F83 and it was really nice, should be nice today as well. As the recipe says, I will follow it, uh, 20 clicks on uh, Comandante, 16 grams of coffee. Uh, I already rinsed the, the filter with water, but what I want to do, I want to pour some more water in here just to keep everything uh, uh, warm that should help us with the extraction so uh, temperature of water will be 96 degrees looks like a lot of coffee let's make it even now i will uh, pour uh, 40 grams of water i will swell it uh, and then we will wait 45 seconds okay a little bit more than that now i will be slowly pouring the water the water should be stay on top of the coffee bed and all together it should take about 40 uh, 2 minutes and 45 seconds on top of my uh, technique not being great i don't see it well because of the way the camera is positioned but i try to do my best should be one long stream it smells amazing uh, chocolate and oranges well all, almost everybody likes that kind of combination uh, very sweet smell cheers guys yeah sweetness a little bit of that bitterness kind of like a bitter orange hint of sourness it tastes i forgot the name of that sweet but a kind of a chocolate orange very very enjoyable there is by the way there is a storm outside uh uh, and it looks really bad if you can hear the winds blowing so 1.41 tds that's very good and we managed to get well above 18 and a half percent extraction it's like actually i think it's the first time that i got pour over that it's bang in the middle where it should be so well done me and well done oria <laughs> is it better than a good old cheap uh v60 we will see you know what if you want we will we will compare it i also got this this drip i haven't opened it yet so we will do unboxing and uh, there will be uh, and at some point we will compare those two uh, uh, as well the, the, the only the thing is that it's bloody expensive for a piece of, piece of plastic it's bloody expensive. Well, if, uh, I mean, says uh, someone who got uh, decent and <laughs> La Pavonia and a few other things. But, you know, uh, uh, I don't know. Look, you tell me, tell me in the comments, guys. Do you, do you have uh, uh, Oria Brewer? How do you like it? Uh, any mistakes that you notice, leave the comments as well. If you have any interesting recipe for, for, this, for this particular brewer, uh, you more, you're more than welcome to, to leave it in there. My initial reaction, yeah, it's, it's really good. It's really tasty. <laughs> I, and I, I don't often enjoy a pour over. I do pour over for you guys, but this one, very good. So, for today, thank you very much for watching. My name is Jack, this is my coffee show. Hopefully, I will see you soon. Thank you, bye.